Holly Coma, aka the Pretty Afro Nerd. Good morning, and don't be rude, say it back. <laughs> but anyway, so early at work today, I was on my 15 minute break. You know, I had my coffee in one hand and I had my soy milk in the other. You know, we gotta drink soy milk because we're lactose intolerant over here. <laughs> no, but on another note, my homie's been telling me to go on Webtoons because they have all sorts of mangas and comics on it. So I did, and I happened to come across Zana. First thing first, is Zana Afro manga? Or not? Nah? Definitely it is. Why is it Afro? Well, because the setting's in South Africa, and they also have different references of different African magic and African spirits throughout it. Why is it manga? Well, because between the settings, the expressions, and the character details, it makes it manga. Afro, manga, you get my drift? <laughs> On top of it being an Afro manga, it's also a fantasy. So peep this. The setting is set in a futuristic white apartheid town um, where the Africans, they use their magical powers to help benefit the rich white elites. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Black people with their natural abilities helping out benefit the white people. Zana, baby girl, get out. You're in a sunken place, baby girl. No, <laughs> but no, no, I really, 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 really appreciate the different melon levels are in Zana. That is until she reaches a city with all the white folks, but don't be alarmed. You know, she got her homegirl with her, hashtag black girl magic with Visa. She's ultra dope, super tech, and she knows how to get down. Okay guys, so while I was reading Zana, I was a little thrown off when they started talking about sacrificing people or cleansing as they called it. I'm over here thinking, yo, is this the African purge? The African get out? Like what's going on? Are y'all harvesting organs? Like what's, what's really going on here? I had to do a little bit of my own research because I'm like, yo, all these different melon levels, African culture, I had to find out who's the homegirl who wrote the story, right? <laughs> turns out to be a white woman named Jean Baker. Hmm, yeah, I'm over here thinking, so uh, how do you relate to melanin levels? Like, how do you really relate to Zana? Like, how do you, how does that work? I happens to find out that she Googled a lot of the references to relate or find out about the different struggles that they went to. Bruh, you can't Google the struggle. You can't Google how to be black. Like, it just doesn't really mm, go coexist, like what? Zana gets two thumbs up in my book. <laughs> I love the shock value, the suspense, and the use of the Sangoma powers. You want to make sure you have your cup of coffee with soy milk. I would say you want to be at work on your 15 minute break. I know for me, my 15 minutes ended up being two hours. That's because Zana is a total binge worthy read. Overall, Zana is a super easy read. It's going to keep you intrigued. And they talk about African culture throughout the whole story. Go out and read it.